I love that there's so many different mediums to choose from when creating. Let's compare Liquitex Gloss Gel with Ranger's Transparence Gloss Texture Paste. Now, the besides the fact that they come in different types of containers, the Liquitex one comes in a squeeze bottle, so you squeeze it on your surface. Makes it a little bit more challenging to pick it up to put it on my stencil, but it is still possible. I do like the fact that it's nice and buttery and creamy and it's easy to work with. Because I have to squeeze it out of the bottle, I have some excess there. I can't put it back in the bottle. So typically I'd find another project for it or learn to squeeze out less. With the Ranger one, I can scoop up as much as I want out of the bottle. It's really easy to scoop up. And once I'm done putting my paste on here with a tap palette knife, as long as my paste hasn't gotten colored, then I can put it right back into the container. I just have some backgrounds here that were colored with distress inks, just a little bit different than working with white paper. And I let it dry for an hour. And after an hour, you could see the gloss gel was completely dried, but the texture paste hadn't dried yet. And now that they're both dried, you can see that there's a bit of a pink tone to the texture paste. And that's likely because of color changes with the distress ink from the longer drying time. I'm coloring the backgrounds of these with some mica spray stains and I wanted to, or I made sure to shake them up really well to make sure that that mica was fully incorporated. Once I've sprayed them onto the background, I can take a paper towel and dab up any excess that is on the gel medium. Because the gel medium or the texture paste isn't as porous as the background, I'm not going to be picking up that mica stain from the background. I'm only going to be picking it up from the texture paste or the glass medium. That peach colored one was clogged, so I've got it unclogged. Now I'm going to add it to that background. And once again, I can take a paper towel and I can sop it up with the excess on the texture paste and on the gloss gel, and I won't be taking it up off the background. So it's a great way to do an emboss resist or even just get some glossy texture on your project. 